All right, Thomas here. And today I was out here with Evie and we decided, you know what, kind of have a warm day, even though we have lots of snow and everything, let's go ahead and make a charcuterie board. Now this board right here is kind of a unique board and try not to fall through the snow here. Look at this dog. Susie, get off our tree. <laughs> Anyways, the board here, as you see, is very beautiful. And it's got lots of colors and stuff like that. And the shape was dictated by what actually was uh, on the board itself. So without further ado, freaking monster dog over there. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and show you how we uh, made this board. And it's a quick little easy video. All right, we'll see you around. Thanks. Today I'm out here uh, with Evie and the dogs and everything. And we are making charcuterie boards. We've made a couple of these so far. As you can see, we've got some ones that we are refinishing and such. I've got an old favorite design that I, I've really enjoyed this design over the years. It's been good to me. So this is actually a template one, even though it's made out of black walnut. Um, but yeah, right here, as you can see, oftentimes whenever I'm making uh, a board, I'm trying to utilize the grain that's in the wood. So you see we've got a lot of sapwood here, a lot of sapwood here, and you've got this heartwood here. And I've tried multiple designs on here to come up with something. I'm liking a handle that's going to, you know, extend out kind of a longer handle with a little bit of curve to it. Um, and then we're also going to look at, do we straight back it along this uh, heartwood section and then utilize some more sapwood over here? Or do we stick with the uh, curvature of the uh, heart or the heartwood there uh, contrasting the sapwood? So got a few designs here I'm still working. I think I am definitely going to curve this section. Maybe not as drastically as what we have here. Um, but yeah, well, this is kind of like what it looks like when we're in the developmental phase. Uh, on this side right here, it looks kind of plain Jane, nothing much here. But on this side right here, there was actually a knot in the big inclusion right here that I was trying to work with. That's going to be kind of a, a focal point right there in the way that this uh, will, will catch your eye. So stand by. I'm going to go ahead and put on a time lapse. And we're going to show kind of like the process and what this board kind of ends up being uh, when we're done here. Okay, so the board looks really beautiful. I mean, it is pretty gnarly. It's got great colors and everything. This is a unique design. I mean, that's it's almost like an electric guitar. I mean, it's pretty wild looking. But we're gonna go ahead and add some mineral oil first, followed by butcher block conditioner after it settles in or sets in. Hey, Evie, do you mind grabbing me some paper towels? I think there's some auto shop blue ones in the back there. I only took this down to 100 grit and everything, um, and it's kind of a warm-ish day today, so this, this oil might actually seep in, plus I'll, I'll put it out in the sun, um, but this really turned out well. Uh, it is a non-traditional style board. It is something unique, but uh, I like unique. As you can see, we've got some beautiful figure there, some blues, almost like some purplish colors, little streaks of all sorts of... Uh, interesting stuff in there i'm going to continue to just work this in when you rub it like that i mean it will heat up and that'll help to get that to soak in some of those pores there thank you i just need one piece and i'll be good but uh yeah that's uh that's how you do it pretty board quick and easy great use of an off cut of black walnut that uh Really, it was an offcut, I think, from some mantles we cut or something. I don't know exactly where it came from. Um, I just picked it out of the pile we had in Tennessee. Uh, but in no time, as you can see, we turned something into something, I guess, beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, 
not hard to do and especially if you are new to the woodworking thing i think a charcuterie board is something really you know easy to work with i mean you can work with just a piece of scrap wood and then we'll see uh you know just experiment with it because you never know what it will turn into unless you try we've got a lot of snow and stuff uh, we got about five more inches of snow yesterday <laughs> Uh, it's March 25th, I think, or 26th. I think it's March 26th right now. Yeah, Sunday. So yeah, I think that turned out very beautiful. And then Evelyn, whenever we go to a craft fair, we can sell this. And I'll say, Evelyn, help me make this. <laughs> kind of, sort of. She gave oversight. And then they can, this can go towards something she's wanting to, to get. That's a lot of times what we do with these craft fairs. We use the craft fairs to pay for Christmas or to pay for a vacation or something like that. But it's just yeah. something fun to do. There you go. I'm very happy the way that board turned out. And I hope you are too. It is a unique board. I mean, that is a very unique shape. But I guarantee it is the only one like it. There may be others, but this is the only one just like this. So yeah, now we'll add a little bit of the uh, butcher block conditioner to it, and I'll just do a picture at the very end, but the application goes the same. I just want uh, the sun to help soak in some more, but nice, flat, true black walnut board, and just beautiful all around. Nice, smooth texture to it. Yeah. All right, quick little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Beautiful, unique board, and I'll do a nice picture as like the intro or something like that there's eb2 <laughs> but yeah we'll do a, a nice picture of this in the beginning to hopefully you can see how we turned something trashed into treasure all right we'll see you around thanks